In this video, we will talk about proximity measures for nominal attributes. What is proximity measures? I explained in my previous video. Link in the description below. So, what is nominal attributes? Nominal attribute is some kind of categorical data. For example, we have grading. Students grading A grade, B grade, C grade. A grade or we have color coding red blue green blue in this video we are going to find out which data is similar or dissimilar so we have formula to find out the dissimilarity for nominal attributes dissimilarity, bet dissimilarity between the I and J D I J equal to P minus M divided by P. So what is P? P is number of attribute number of attributes and what is M? M is number of matches value between I and j for example uh, we have example here id test result so one two three four and test result is code A code B code C and code D so what is number of attributes number of attributes means like we have one this is number of attribute for example uh, can write it color coding red blue green or blue so now in this case we have two attributes one is test result second is color so first we will see single attribute single attribute example for better understanding so we will use this formula p minus m divided by p in previous video i mentioned dissimilarity matrix first we have to create matrix and then we will see how we will find difference between i and j so so i'm gonna use just one attribute for this example in next example i will show you how we can do with two attributes so for dissimilar uh, dissimilarity matrix we have one two three four data objects so we will create one two three four one two three four okay so in previous video i explained what is the difference between one and one zero what will be the difference between 1 and 2 d for dissimilarity 1 and 2 what will be the difference between 1 and 3 d 1 3 so uh, difference between 2 and 2 will be 0 3 and 3 will be 0 so diagonal will be 0 so we have to find out what is the difference between 1 and 2 so 
we have to see here one is code a two is code b so um, we have formula p minus m divided by p p is number of attributes so we are using single attribute so we will we have to see this this test result attribute so p equal to one and number of matches equal to so you can see between code a and code D, b is this match no so what is the number of match between uh, one and two is zero so for d one two p minus m divided by p so we have p one and m is zero divided by one will be one same d d one two we find it one one and three one and three will be so p equals to one and number of matches between object one and three code a and code c is this matching no so what will the answer m equal to zero so p minus m divided by p equals to one minus zero divided by one so so what is the answer equal to one so i'm gonna put it here one so what will the difference between one and four so now one and four so i just uh, uh, write it code a for better understanding so one and four so p will be one because it's we are using just one attribute this is test result and the difference between one and four so now you can see code a and code a one and four these are matching yes so what will be the value equal m equal to one so now p minus m divided by p so p is one m is one divided by one one minus one zero divided by one will be zero so what will be the answer one and four will be zero same here um, two and three difference between two and three so now you can see code b and code c it's not matching so m will be zero and we are using one attribute so p will be one one minus zero divided by one equals to one and d so two and three one so now two and four so in two and four code b and code a m equals to zero p equals to one so one minus zero divided by one equals to one so what will the answer two and four one so the next is three and four we are using one attribute so p equals to one and the number of matches between three and four so c and a no it's not matching so m equals to zero one minus zero divided by one equals to one so now we find out this similarity between one and two one three one four two three two four and three four we can say that all objects are similar 
all objects are similar except four and one you can see four and one is zero so um, let's see another example with two attributes so uh, we have four data objects one two three four two attributes attribute one is a a b b a a c c attribute two 20 40 20 and 30 so same formula we will use i j equals to p minus m divided by p so so what is the value of p p is number of attributes so now we have two attributes so p will be two okay so okay so we have to find out diagonal will be zero so we have to find out the value of one and two one and two so now we have to take a look here so one and two is there a a and bb is matching no it's so now we have to check here 20 and 40 is matching no so p is two and matching is m is 0 2 minus 0 divided by 2 here will be answer will be 1 1 and 3 so we'll put here 1 1 and 3 so we have to check 1 and 3 so uh, p is 2 and matching a 1 and 3 is matching yes 1 here so we have to check here 20 and 20 is matching yes so m is 2 p is 2 divided by 2 2 minus 2 0 so 1 and 3 0 1 and 4 1 and 4 so 1 and 4 here a a and c c is matching no 20 and 30 is matching no so p is 2 m is 0 divided by 2 will be one okay so next is two three d two three so p is two m b and a is matching no 40 and 20 is matching no so m is zero divided by two is one so d 2 4 2 and 4 we have p 2 2 and 4 bb is not matching with cc and 4 is not matching with 30 so 0 2 1 so last is d 3 4 3 and 4 is matching no matching no so p is 2 m is 0 divided by 2 equals to 1 so we can say that all the objects are similar except 1 and 3 in next video we will discuss binary attributes thank you for watching see you in next video